Hey girl, it's Miss Kabibi. So I'm going to show you guys step by step of my new protective style, which is actually this half wig. Now this is the wig just fresh out of the package. It's a lot of hair. It's big hair. It's beautiful curls, but it's just a little bit too much for me. So I'm going to show you guys how I modify it. Okay, so the first thing is, this is my braid pattern. Now, I had to braid my hair myself, so it's not the neatest braids, but it's gonna have to work for what I need. So I did a total of 10 braids in the front, and then I connected them and did six braids in the back. And then I just sort of like folded the ends around itself just to have um, the tail sort of like tucked in there neatly. Okay, so the first thing I did with these the wig was to cut the comb out of the back and I also cut out those straps that they have on the inside. And then the comb that's in the front, I kept that comb but I'll cut it in half. So here's where the magic happens. So this is a half wig, but I want to be able to wear it without any leave out hair. So what I'm doing now is, since the wig is so bulky, I am cutting out some of the bulk out of the wig and I'm going to then crochet it to the top of my head. I've never seen anybody else do this, um, but I figured it'd be a, a good way for me to kind of like make the most of the, the half wig. So right now I'm just showing you my crochet technique, which this is just the regular technique. I also do the knotless invisible technique and I'll put a link to my video above that shows great detail as to exactly how I do the invisible knot. So with putting the crochet in the front, I want to keep it pretty kind of like sparse because you have to be careful with curly hair because it'll bulk up really quickly. And that's something I learned the last time I did my crochet was I made it way too dense in the front and I ended up having to go back and take some out. So this time I'm doing it just a little bit at a time. If I need to add more, it'll be easier for me to add more and then I don't have to like double back and go through the trouble of taking some out. Now the first section that I cut was from the very nape of the hair. I did actually go back and cut like the other track that was like right above it, um, just to be able to give myself enough hair to cover the front of my head. Now don't worry about how the curls look really separated. What I did towards the end was I just kind of like spritzed it with some leave-in conditioner, coiled it together, and then the curls recurl back up and it won't look so frizzy. Okay, so now I'm at the final section, which is the part that I'm gonna put the invisible knot technique. That way you can't see the knot and it's just gonna look like it's coming out of my scalp. Okay, so now is when I'm taking the leave-in conditioner and just spritzing it, just to kind of help the curls to curl around itself and not look so frizzy. By this point, I've cut out about, I would say three to five tracks out of the back, and it's still a lot of hair. It's still very bulky, it's still really big. If I worked in a creative office, I would be comfortable with doing it with this much bulk and body and volume, but since I work in a conservative corporate office, I need to take it down just a little bit more so I can't you know, be in the office looking full diva, full glam. Um, I need to kind of keep it professional, which unfortunately sometimes means boring. And here's a close-up of the part with the invisible part. 
if I were able to get someone to do my cornrows for me, I would probably have them be done a little bit smaller. So the smaller you make the cornrows, the more natural the part's gonna look. But I did the best I could since I had to do it myself. At this point, I'm trying to figure out exactly how much more to cut out of it to remove some of the bulk without messing with the shape of the hair. So since I wanna keep the overall shape, I wanna cut out some of the tracks from the underside of the half wig instead of like trying to cut into the wig itself because then I run the risk of messing up the shape of it. So I just pulled just some random hair and I'm just kind of like pulling it out, pinning it up so I can see how much hair I'm left with and I decided to just go ahead and cut it at an angle, not too close to the, the wig cap itself. So it's probably like a few inches from the root, so to speak, of the wig. And I'm definitely going to be saving the hair that I cut out just in case I need to touch up the top part where I put the crochet. And now I'm just playing with it, fluffing it out, trying to get the top to blend in with the rest of the wig. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you can get alerts when I post new videos. All right, hope this video was helpful. Kisses, bye.